we're at the eastern end of the esplanade um, mainly this area on the right is uh, a few homes but mainly motels and caravan parks on the left is some parkland which is a fa favorite dog walking area some of the there's supposed to be rules about dogs on lead and picking up the droppings but unfortunately a few dog owners don't take any notice of that and get a bad reputation for all dog owners a bit of water on the left was originally a river which used to go into the sea further down to the east but it kept silting up and so that's where the entrance was built and over in the distance uh, is the uh, sand dunes which are about 50 meters wide and beyond them is the ocean and uh, we'll move on and drive along the esplanade inside the caravan parks because this is the peak uh, holiday season. There's the dog not on the lead. Stretch of water over there. So often black swans and occasionally there are uh, do uh, dolphins playing. depending on your where you come from which comes uh, every year from Christmas Eve until the end of January more car parking so getting into the central area there's a footbridge through the trees that go over to the beach and the Surf Life Saving Club. And here we are in the in the business area. Traffic everywhere. Cafes across the road with their umbrellas out. People having breakfast and coffee. Traffic's a little slow. We get to where the, the various wharfs are for sh the ships. Lakes Entrance used to have the largest fishing fleet in Australia. A lot of licenses have been had to be sold back to the government now to reduce the number of fishing boats. Plenty of estate agents. A community club on the right. Serve meals, fish and chips. Two of the uh, four uh, mini golfs not many people around yet it's only nine o'clock in the morning more fishing boats it's a bit congested in this area to the right there's the uh, the Woolworths, big Woolworths supermarket down there behind McDonald's. A few people enjoying a walk in the sunshine. Uh, pleasure cruisers, fishing boats. Over to the left, a floating restaurant called Soda Fish. A 
people are having breakfast outside. More fishing boats on the other side of the road. You can see them through the parked cars. Now we are out of the main area, there's more motels. Another floating restaurant over there, an Asian restaurant called the Floating Dragon. And then the rest of the way along the Esplanade, we're on the western side of town now. Uh, mainly motels, a few other small businesses, but uh, mainly motels. And um, we're going along, the entrance is just the other side of that area there. about at the end of the entrance, uh, sorry, the end of the Esplanade, a bit of bigger combination of residential complex over on, on the right. Coming around to the road, there's a roundabout here. If you uh, go straight on and over the bridge, you go to Bansdale and on to the rest of Victoria and Melbourne. We're going to turn left onto Bullock Island. Bullock Island over there. It was actually man-made uh, in the days when, when the entrance was uh, dug out and the, the sand that was dug out for the entrance was piled in this area to make this island. And um, that, that happened around 1897, at least in the 1890s. Straight ahead is the Fisherman's Co-op where you can buy fresh fish with uh, a lot of the fish has uh, landed here, landed there I should say, from the fishermen. A lot of it goes overseas or to Melbourne. And then we just go. This is, on, this is a road on Bullock Island. It's just only a very small island. And from the island you can see the actual entrance. Not a very interesting viewpoint this and you can see the water going up that way that the lakes go right through to Sale which is over a hundred kilometers away and there's lot, lots of rivers from the mountains feed into the lake there and if you go along here this is a favorite favourite fishing spot along here and uh, in the distance you can see the entrance which was cut out as I said in the late 1890s not many people here at the moment there will be times during the day when this car park will be full there will be people fishing you see somebody coming through the entrance on a boat at the moment the boat can be very very dangerous a lot of people have lost their lives coming through that entrance when the weather's been bad because it can be very, very rough out there. And that basically is a run along the Esplanade at Lakes Entrance.